Hello YouTube, uh, right, another review time, another KTRT bot for you. But before we get into that, um, a couple of little things. A <laughs> uh, bit of housekeeping. Uh, re remember I did uh, did a review on this guy recently, uh, review 117. Uh, Titans Return Pounce, that I bought separately as part of the uh, Siege on Cybertron box set. Um, now it was pointed out to me in the comments section that I neglected to mention the um, Titan Master compatibility on this guy <laughs> by a guy called David La Machia. Machia, Machia. Anyway, thanks for your comment, pal. Uh, yes, uh, he does have Titan Master capability, but in his beast mode. So I'll just get him into beast mode real quick. Look at this guy; he's like really easy to work with. Uh, turn that round, flip that out, turn that round, flip that out, douche, douche. This is right. Now, in his back, you've got this hollow, and you've got this rectangular tab here. Now, if you have a Titan Master, as I do, this is Merc from um, Octone. Uh, obviously, they have that little angular peg on the back of the legs. It slots into there, and then you can have your guy riding on his back if you, you know, put the arms out. And there you go, you can have him riding on the back of Pounce. And I think Wingspan's gonna be exactly the same because Wingspan's mold is virtually identical, so yeah. There you go, so a little bit of housekeeping from uh, Review 117. And something else uh, I had to do just before recording this video, I was, I was about to sit down and record this uh, very video. And then when I was doing the, uh, the photo, photoshopping the photos for the thumbnails, I noticed the computer was a bit choppy. So I thought I'd better check the hard drive to see if there's any space on it. And it's a good job that I did because uh, when I checked it, there was uh, there was only 853 megabytes left on the hard drive's free space. So then I had to get the old uh, Seagate hard drive out and uh, download a bunch of stuff, load of uh, old photos and uh, videos. And I've now managed to clear 67.9 uh, gigabytes of space on the hard drive. So I'm uh, free to record this video. So with those little things out of the way, let's get onto the meat and potatoes of this uh, review. So. A little while back, I reviewed. Um, I've got the box here anyway. I reviewed this guy, and he's part of a, a, a two a two bot set for a, a bigger combiner. Now I did wasn't planning on getting the other guy, but I decided, oh, what the hell, I'm going to get it anyway. So today's review is for the following. There's the box. So this guy is called. Oh. Uh, Patron S, that's his name, and here he is, he is Patron. Now, as you can see, he is a big yellow school bus. So I'm starting off in the alt modes, and uh, now any of American people who are watching this, can you tell me if you think this is an accurate representation of an American school bus? Because I think it looks pretty good, actually. Um, you know, it's quite it's reasonably well detailed. I mean, obviously it's got robot stuff underneath. But anyway, this is Patron in his um, in his vehicle mode, and he's a school bus. Um, very heavy, very large. Um, size comparison. The only thing I can think to do a size comparison with is the other uh, Hello Car Box bus form that I've got, Saber. <laughs> so you put him next to Saber. He's a little bit longer. Probably a bit wider. So yeah, they look pretty good together. I mean, this is the best thing about uh, Road Saber is, is his bus mode. I mean, the robot mode, they got the colors wrong on it and they've missed out a lot of articul meaningful articulation on it and it really hurts it in the beast mode. So it, it was a huge disappointment, this guy, when I got it, and I got a customs hit on it as well. But this guy, you know, they look pretty good together. So yeah, so that's... Uh, that's uh, patron, patron. And then also comes with this little dude. 
This is skid, not skids. Um, now they they both come with a, a little a little partner, and it's sort of like a deluxe size car. So he's a this uh, blue police cruiser. Nicely detailed, the usual sort of nice shiny Korean plastic. It's got painted rear lights. It's got light bar on the top. It's got some nice tamper graph decals. Painted wheels, pinned wheels, blacked out windows. Very nice little car mode. Now, the only thing I could think about getting out to do a size comparison with this is generation skids. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of a deluxe size car. As you can see, skid and skids so it's a pretty pretty appropriate you know deluxe size vehicle so that's that now obviously they have robot modes and as I've got this guy in hand we'll do the, the uh, transformation on this so skid is pretty easy to transform start with the legs you just sort of unpeg the legs pull them out separate them and then you've got the feet, which is part of the tailgate. You just turn the tailgate round. So I do it this way. So you turn that round and that deforms his foot. Then you flip out the arms to the side, split the front, pull that down and then turn the roof round. And there we have Skid in his robot mode, and he's quite a funky little robot. Nice blue, black, and white colour scheme. He's got the, the light bar on the front. He's got like an orange visor and a silver face. Um, articulation's a little limited on this guy. Um, his shoulders go in and out. They don't go backwards and forwards, just, just the, uh, the elbow. Now the elbow goes to the full crunch, so there's plenty of elbow room there. It's got kind of skinny hands like Leaf did on the last one. Um, his head does rotate. The shoulders, they have this like a like a ratchet, like a, a, a free position clicker. And I don't know why, because in the various modes, it doesn't actually do anything. So I don't, I don't know why that's there. Um, moving down, nothing at the waist. Um, hips, do the full split. Go that far forward, that far back. No five swivels. Obviously got a deep knee bend and then the feet. Just got that, that weird twisty foot thing. So a little restricted on the articulation, but he's, he's, he's a funky little bot. Um, I haven't really got a deluxe out for size comparison. So I've got the uh, leader Megs to hand. As you can see, he's a pretty, pretty good deluxe scale bot. So let's put him to one side, so that's Skid. Then we move on to the big fella, Patron. Now, Patron is, well, you'll see when we get into robot mode. So how to start this guy? I think it's best to start with the roof. So you flip the roof panel up, split it, and then pull them to the side, fold them in and tab them together. Then, Got the sides, pinch them out, bring them forwards. Then you sp split the legs. Now it does have weapon storage underneath, as you can see. That's his uh, weapon, but we'll get into that in a bit. So you split the legs and then you rotate the feet. Oh, this way around. That's it. You rotate the feet forwards. So that's the legs done. Uh, now we've got the upper section. Pull these side bits out, split the top, and then you can start folding the arms out. Then you uh, get these bits, fold them out, and then you get the fists, fold the fists out, and peg them in to there. Get this piece, fold that in, and then collapse this in. Like so, do it on this side, like that. Then you come to the front, bring the shoulders down, rotate forwards, 
bring the arms and rotate them to face forward. Forward. And there we have Patron in his robot mode. Now, this guy has got, as you can see, he's got an awful lot of kibble. And <laughs> he uh, sort of gives um, Starrick's Dandy, the king of kibble, a run for his money in that regard. But Dandy wears his kibble so well, whereas this guy, it's just all over the place. I mean, he's got massive great bus panels on the sides of his legs. He's got all these bits on his arms. He's got these wings on the back. If they're not folded out, obviously, you know, he's got a decent set of wings. But they come in later on. Now, he's a big bot. Um, Proportion-wise, he's quite stocky and stumpy. Got longish arms, but fairly short legs. And if you look where the joints are on the, on the legs, his hips are here. His hips are where his knees should be. So, and he's got, well, he's got double knees and the foot as well. Has got thigh swivels, but like I said, that, that's kind of unusual to have, you know, he's got like hips hanging down. Now, because of this, his hips don't really go out to the side. Now they do go backwards and forwards so far, but obviously restricted motion due to the, the shortness of his thighs and uh, stuff around the back that gets in the way. The foot can just go angle backwards and forwards, but there's no tilt on it. Moving up the torso, nothing at the waist. Um, the head is on a, on a swivel, on a rotation. Shoulders. So that goes round, that goes out. He's got bicep swivel and uh, a decent elbow bend. Uh, nothing at the, the fist, the fists are fixed. Uh, so yeah, his articulation is unusual, especially around the, uh, the waist and the hips, but He's a decent looking bot, he's fairly large, he's colourful, I mean, let's do a quick size comparison with uh, Leader Megs. So yeah, he's, he's bigger than a Leader class bot. And uh, he has an accessory. Now he ha in the show, because <laughs> th these, these guys are from season four of Hello Car Bots. In the show, this guy, he has this, this thing. Now this is called his mystery stick. And, uh, he wields it in, in both modes and he just he sort of like just waves it like a wand and goes mystery stick and then a load of bubbles come out and these bubbles have a, a, a number of uses usually he uses it to sort of encapsulate people and make them float away or if they're you know in the water it it can you know save them from drowning um he can form them into like a like a shield or a barrier you can do a multiple, a multitude of uses for the bubbles that come out of his mystery stick, but it's really good when he uses it, he just goes mystery stick and, uh, and just waves it and <laughs> bubbles come out. So I really like that about him in the show. His, uh, his, his weapon, as, as, it, as you can call it, is, uh, is quite interesting, quite, is very different. So there we have Patron in his robot mode. Now, put these guys together and you see there's the pair of them now they do combine together like they did on uh, directs so first of all you've got to take thingy here and you've basically got to transform him back into his vehicle mode so just fold that up and then you You've got to open it out because you've got this this rectangular block thing in the middle with, with pivots on it and you fold that out like so and then you've got this space here now you take patron and then he's got these little pegs on the top and there's ports in there so you put him over the top and then you pick him in and then you fold him down the front and there's a little pegging port there and that plugs in and then the back piece you just sort of fold it up and then there's a place for it to plug in plug in at the back so 
So that's that. And there he is as Patron S. So basically, Patron plus S, i.e. I, Skid, they form together to form a slightly bigger robot, so they, they just combine together. And that's Patron S. Again, mystery stick. Stick it in his, ar in his arm. And there you go. But uh, these guys, both these guys, uh, it, it quite clearly says on the box, it says four in one. They've got four different modes. So we've seen three of the modes. We've seen the alt modes, we've seen the base robot modes, and now we've seen the combined robot mode, but he has one extra mode. And for that, we need, where is he? There he is. We need Direx in his trouser mode. Just pull that accessory off. So these guys combine together. So here's the legs. We've got to basically form the torso to go on top of this. Now the way this guy transforms is very unusual. And the reason the hips are the way they are is part of his combiner transformation into the bigger gestalt. So where do we start? I'm probably going to need a reference again for this. <laughs> so I'll just have the, the box to one side with a picture on it. Right, so the arms, you fold the arms round and up like that. And then it's best to put the fists away. So, uh, put the fists away and clip fold them in. So, you sort of put them up there like that. He's kind of stuck. Right, now you get the legs, you fold. The feet like that, then you fold them forwards, then you take the hips and you bring them out and there's a large tab there which goes into the underside of here. Fold that down and then and that plugs into there. Do it again on this side, fold it out. peg in that securely but it uh, it pegs in enough and there we have the torso mode now the engineering is a bit odd in a few places like I said the way these hips work very unusual and when we go through the articulation of the gestalt you'll see what I mean about unusual but there is something about the engineer on this that I think is absolutely fantastic. And it's the way this guy combines to this guy. Now, this thing, you know, sometimes when you get, you know, large multifaceted robot combiners where you get, you know, like a torso, a torso bot and a, like the legs shirt and the legs, they combine together. Sometimes, you know, in these, these big gestalts, they don't do a very good job of mating the two together. You know, it's not a, a solid connection, but this guy, He's got belt and braces. He's basically he's got like a two-fold locking system that holds him together. Now, if you look here, you can see there's two little spring-loaded tabs there. Now you've got the head on here. It's spring-loaded, and if you look underneath, you've got these little black tabs, which, as you can see, are loose and don't do anything. So you get this, and then you plug it in like so. Put it in until it clicks and you'll see now they and if you push them together that allows you to pull it up if you put it back in 
it won't come out. Now you think that would be good enough, but no, they've, they've done some more. Now you can see these black things sticking out the side. I don't know if you can see, but in there is a large rectangular tab. And then you've got a big rectangular lug here. And then you fold it up inside and then you lock it into place. And that is not going anywhere. You can... It's, it's not. It is firmly, solidly attached. And then we've got the, the final gestalt. And I can't get back far enough. <laughs> He's large, he's very, very large. Um, now, obviously, the accessories you get with uh, Direx and uh, Patronesque will work with this guy. Obviously, got his mystery stick. That will go in one of his arms. You've got the, the crane attachment from Direx. There's a little plug there on his arm, and that will plug into there, like so. And then you've got Leaf's, the top of Leaf's ambulance mode. Flip that up, bring that out, turn it into the crossbow, and it's got a large peg, which will peg onto the arm, like so. Or you can put it in the fist, because it has got these like painted hands in here, and then you can put it in the fist, like so, and hold it like that. Well, I prefer to have it on the side because it looks better. And there we have it. And obviously this is Super Petron. This is the name of this Gestalt, Super Petron. Because obviously Petron's the top part. Poor old Direx is the legs. And uh, this is the, the large Gestalt. And this is the biggest um, KTRT combiner that I've got. Uh, there are some others out there that, that might be bigger than this, um, as it, um, especially from the Tobot line, you've got, uh, was it Giga 7, and what's that other one? Giga 7, and the, 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 there's, there's another one anyway, there, there's two that they did with the, the, the Tobot line, which are, are pretty big, but I'm not really interested in those. So yeah, now, um, like I did with my... Um, last combiner review uh, I've done uh, some size comparisons with the biggest bots I've uh, I own and uh, we'll put that in now As you can see, um, size-wise, he's he's bigger than most things I've got. Um, obviously, not big as Fort Max and Chomp and Stomp Grimlock. Sort of, he's well. If it depends if you take the height from here or his head. He's, I think Chomp and Stomp Grimlock's head is just slightly higher. He's like a, almost like a head and shoulders higher than this guy. And when you take the the dino head that sticks over the top of his uh, his head, then you take that into account, then he's not quite as tall, but he, he's pretty close. If you look at the photo, you'll see what I mean. Now, these shoulder connections, they aren't the greatest. They do sort of come unstuck if you, oh, I've got to bring the wings out. There we go. So, yeah, you can bring the wings out, make him look a bit wider. Articulation, obviously. Oh, yeah, and something else I forgot to do. You take the the bits off of the the light bars off the the two little mini guys, and then you put them in put them in the head like so, and uh, then it that uh, that crowns in properly. Obviously, he's got a head rotation. Shoulders are on a joint there. Now, no bicep swivel. Big problem on this guy. Now, in in uh, his smaller robot mode, this is the bicep swivel there. That's the bicep swivel. 
Um, they could have put one in there and it would have meant that you could, uh, he's got, basically he's got double elbows that come inwards. So his joints on his arms are very unusual. Uh, not the best. Uh, moving down to the hips. Uh, hips. Now these legs are quite heavy, so even though they're quite strong ratchets, they struggle to hold the legs up. They go back that far. They go forward that far. Now he's got, as you can see, he's got very, very short thighs. Um, he has got you know, a very, very noisy ratcheted knee, very long shins, massive boots, um, no, no waist joints, no thigh swivels, which is a, which is a shame on this guy. He, you'd have thought they'd have put some thigh swivels on him. I mean, it hurts Direx as well because he hasn't got any thigh swivels, which is which is a bit of a shame. No ankle tilts, but then again, it's parts forming to form the feet on this guy. It takes the the, the front half of Direx's alt mode and they become the boots. So, yeah, it's a thing. Uh, it's it's large, it's colourful, quite heavy, a um, lot more articulated than Barbarian King. Barbarian King is mega heavy, uh, especially when you put the arms on, the um, cross attacker arms, Dire Wolf and um, Sabretooth. You can't really use them as arms. This has got more articulation than that. Um, it's missing a few obvious joints that can really make the articulation work properly. But he's decent. He holds together. He stands up perfectly well. It's nice and solid. He's not going to fall over. What can you say? And. There's Lead and Megs next to him. <laughs> so that then has been my review of that guy, Patroness, and the final combined form with Direx to form Super Patron. I'm glad I bought it. Um, I wasn't going to go for this guy, but I'm glad I did. Uh, it's, it's something from the Hello Carbots line. I've not been buying so much from Hello Carbots because they've been going away from what I liked about the show in the first place. I mean, th these guys were like the mainstay of season four. They've moved on to season five now, and the combiners they've got in season five, uh, five are absolutely ridiculous. They're stupid. I could go with this guy because obviously he's got four bots, each of which has an individual bot mode. So it's more like a proper combiner rather than one of those copolymer things that the Koreans like doing. So that has been it. That has been my review of this thing. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've been TFR Wilderness and I will um, actually, you'll probably see me again later this week because in getting this guy, I've realized that I've reached a milestone in my collection and I'm off work this week and I've got, I've got a, day, a day spare on Wednesday. So I'm going to probably do a little collection update to uh, mark this occasion. So look forward to that. Anyway, that's been me. I will catch you next time. Goodbye.